Hi, Beth. Hi, Pastor Doug. How are you today? I'm doing great. We Good. have a fun rotation coming up here. It's uh, the holiday season. Christmas is coming. Christmas, but before that, Advent. Advent. Yep. We have to prepare for Christmas, of course. Yep. Our story today is on, it's titled, For Unto Us a Child is Born, and it comes to us from the book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. which is in the Old Testament. Old Testament prophet. Prophet. Yes. Right. We have... Um, well, I'm going to start with our memory verse. It's one of my favorite ones. It's from Isaiah 9, 6, and this is the NRSV version. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And with the kids, we're going to be talking about all those names that are given to Jesus mm -hmm. and um, what they mean. Good. So by the end of this rotation, the kids will be able to find Isaiah 9, 6, and 7 mm -hmm. in their Bibles. They'll memorize that wonderful verse, understand that Jesus is our wonderful counselor, and learn ways of practicing talking to him in prayer. And How do we value and um, have that relationship with with God and Jesus as our wonderful counselor. Um, understand that Jesus is our mighty God. Mm -hmm. He insulates us. Yeah. Even, um, you know, you get stressed out or our lives heats up. He will be our insulator and help us and love us. Understand the reference to everlasting Father. God is the one who created the world in the first place. Mm -hmm. He's been with his people all along and he will continue to be with us in the future. And that um, Jesus was sent as a Prince of Peace, not this mighty warrior. Mm -hmm. um, and he wants us to care and love for others as we do for ourselves. And then um, to help uh, make the connection between the Old Testament prophets and prophecies to the New Testament fulfillment yes. of those prophecies. The coming of the Christ child. Yeah. That's right. Um, well, Isaiah, wonderful uh, prophet, and prophets in general. Uh, the word uh, prophet really, uh, really means seer, uh, a messenger of God. And that's who the prophets were. And it's always interesting to me to see, when you look through the Old Testament and look at the prophets, um, it seems like, not all, but most of them, really had reservations about being a messenger of God. I mean, think about how that might be that God comes to you in a vision, a dream, or you're visited by an angel, and uh, they say, we want you to bring God's message to these troubled times. And uh, Isaiah was one such prophet. Uh, during the time of Isaiah, Jerusalem was... Um, he, was he was a counselor to the king's... Uh, in the 700s before Christ BC and uh, it was during a time of uh, threats of war with Syria and the Assyrian uh, army was also threatening them and so there was all this turmoil all this stuff going on and people were not trusting in God were not turning to God for um, for help rather they were putting their trust in other kings and other rulers and wanting to side up with some of the powers that be of the day and even other um, other gods and so Isaiah was seeing this happening and saying you know this is not right we need to trust in God and turn to God and uh, there's a great part of the story in Isaiah 6 where uh, in a vision an angel comes and takes a hot coal out of the fire because Isaiah is saying who am I to be a messenger for God I have unclean lips and so this angel comes and grabs a hot coal and touches his lips and purifies his lips and then he says now who shall we send to bring God's message to God's people and of course there's that great line of Isaiah here I am send, send me. me here I am send me so that's Isaiah in a nutshell uh, beautiful book I encourage you to, to look through the book of Isaiah and see some of the mess difficult messages that he needs to bring to the Israelite people. So that's what a prophet is, a messenger of God. 
So my understanding too is that the prophets maybe didn't understand the messages either, the, the well, whole thing that they were saying to sure. people. Sure. Uh, they understood how difficult the right. message was. Right. I, I think that was apparent. But uh, yeah, the scope of the message and yeah. what, what that message was really, uh, uh, you know, the, the bigger picture of the message, you know. So they God were really, only knows. yeah, they <laughs> were know. really trusting, trusting in God, sure. and really devoted. Yeah, they were almost a microcosm of, you know, uh, the 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 people of the of that day, the Israelite people, weren't trusting in God, and so uh, the prophet was called to trust in God, even though he didn't fully understand the the message that he needed to bring or the effect it was going to have, but. Again, they were kind of showing by example, well, I'm going to trust in God with this difficult message I need to bring, even though I don't understand the full scope of the message. And of course, uh, some of the prophecies that we're going to talk about in relation to uh, Advent is, you know, Isaiah didn't necessarily realize who this, um, who this Christ child was going to be. Right. And so, anyway. Or, or how long. Or how long it was going to take for that to happen, or, or even when he prophesies, you know, he will be called uh, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, this Prince of Peace. You know, they still had this idea of being delivered from all these uh, wars and this violence and this oppression. I mean, they still had this idea, even though he calls this um, this Messiah a, a Prince of Peace. You know, they, I, I think, in their mind, they still had this idea of this great warrior king was going to come in and, and, and bring peace by, you know, by the threat of violence or something. So, anyway, uh, fascinating stuff, the prophets. We could go on and on about that, but we should probably talk about, for unto us a child is born. Advent. Yes. Yes. Well, um, just, just like the people in Isaiah's time and our time today, kids will tend to feel uncertain mm -hmm. in their lives about different things. One of the things that children will learn um, by studying this story is that they'll have an appreciation for God's ability to plan for the future yes. and to keep his promises. And um, we'll, it's hard to understand 700 years. <laughs> it's hard yes. to understand um, seven years. Seven years. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. Seven, seven days. days. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Um, so they'll understand that. Um, maybe, well, maybe not understand it, but we'll, sure. we'll be talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And um, that God also was preparing. He had this plan and he was preparing people to receive the Messiah. And those people probably didn't know they were being prepared to receive a Messiah, which... Um, makes me wonder about my life today and our lives. You know, what are we? You know, what are we being prepared for? What are all the little encounters that we have or situations that we have to deal with? How are those preparing us yeah. for the future? So, in talking with children too, that's a great, great thing to remember when stuff happens at school or mm -hmm. with siblings mm -hmm. or or whatever. You know, uh, well, yeah. what are you learning from this or? Um, how might you know, you know, just be aware that God, God will use that. Yeah. He'll use our experiences to shape and shape and mold us. Yeah, and it's really, I mean, that is our journey, our walk of faith, from when we're uh, infants uh, on up to uh, when we pass on to the the life uh, that, to come, and you know that that we are continually called to have that faith, which means we don't always understand everything that. God is doing in our lives, we are just called to trust in God and continue to turn our life and our situations over to God. And I think that leads us right uh, wonderfully into that first uh, title that God has given by Isaiah as our wonderful counselor. 